Here's a way of dealing with movie files and soundtracks if you end up... I'm going to take it and drop it onto QuickTime Player 7. This needs to be the pro version of QuickTime Player 7. Uh, and QuickTime Player 7 is not installed by default on modern Macintoshes, but you can download it and use it, which is Command J. And then there you can see that this movie has got two different soundtracks, which is not correct. What I can do is I can go like that, and I'll only hear soundtrack 2. Or I can do that, and I'll only hear soundtrack 1. And once I've done that, I can find out which... And then once you've done that, you'll notice you'll have to save your movie out again.